Age of Aquarius, 21 New Rules for 2021. If you are still clutching to the old normal, you're in for a world of hurt in the months and years ahead. Let go of it now, or you're going to fall behind and likely end up stuck out there with a mob fighting for something that was never yours to begin with. You absolutely must realize right now that the game has already changed and that the new rules are being written as we speak. If you cannot open your focus up enough to catch the cataclysmic changes happening within yourself, you're going to miss the greatest opportunity of your life and risk getting thrown under the bus. We're moving into the age of Aquarius and this emerging paradigm demands total inner freedom, which stands in stark contrast to the ancient paradigm of external control. This war has been brewing for a long time already, but my oh my is it ever heating up. Prepare yourself for a colossal, even biblical struggle between these two dynamics as the universe works to restore itself to balance under a new sign. You're not here to steer this thing to your liking. You're here to open up to all of the possibilities this ride has to offer. Time to be the change. And this really is the moment so many of us have been waiting for. The matrix control system was never going to come to an end without revealing itself for what it really is. It's finally all out in the open for everyone to see now, and it's clear to those who choose to look that the hammer is coming down and the system is going for broke in its effort to consume the entire human race. Those who learn to stay continually aligned with their inner truth will be able to avoid slipping into conformity, dependence, fear, groupthink, and herd mindset. You're going to need the tools, temperament, tenacity, and spirit to navigate this, or you're gonna get fried by stress, overwhelmed by fear, and you'll end up stuck with the other sheeple in one of the pop media narratives blindly carrying out someone else's agenda. Your energy will be entirely consumed by external events, stunting your spiritual and inner growth, and you'll be sentenced to toil in frustration in the remnants of a dying paradigm, able only to focus on conflict, strife, and struggle. One of the things I'm noticing very Clearly these days is how the nature of truth and the source of truth is changing. Whereas once we could seek and find truth in our established collective history, media, and in the accounts of others, truth now is being revealed to us in relationships. All of that other stuff is proving to be completely compromised and the isolation of the year has induced a purification in our relationships, so that now it's as though we're all operating in a house of mirrors. At first, the crisis revealed our truest colors to those closest to us, and now, in the reflections of our relationships, we can see more clearly than ever what we need to know and do in order to evolve and grow into this new inner freedom. If we ignore what we see, we'll get stuck in the old ways of being. 
So I ask, how did you do when the pandemic came down? Did you panic? Did you freeze? How far into your mind did the fear get? Did you let it work its way into your heart? Did you lose any part of your humanity? Or maybe your true colors are beautiful. Did you discover new depths to your compassion in all of this? Did you find solace in generosity and empathy? Did you turn to acts of service to reassure your soul? Did your heart open up wide, bright, and true? What did you learn about yourself? Pay careful attention to how you're showing up in your relationships these days because there are two competing narratives playing out in our world right now. One of them happens on the media stage and features an expertly crafted orchestration of humanity's worst qualities. The other story happens in your mind and in your heart and presents an extraordinary opportunity for personal evolution. Whichever one your focus is what you'll bring to the others in your life and will determine what feedback you receive from them and the world. A wise friend recently told me that the love we experience in our lives is the clearest reflection of who we truly are as people. So, what do you see in the relationships in your life? Are you experiencing love? Or are you frustrated? Is there easiness or maybe emptiness? Is there joy? Or do you feel repressed or bottled up? Do you feel a sense of expansion or a sense of contraction? Can you feel into your relationships to sense which ones are giving you energy and which ones are taking your energy? What is going right in the good ones and wrong in the others? What do you need to change about yourself in order to have the kind of relationship with the world that brings you happiness, joy, peace, and freedom? I've been meditating deeply on all of this lately moving very slowly into the void and waiting to see what naturally arises. Here's some of the things coming up for me lately. They feel like an emerging new rule set, like an updated program to run on as we collectively dive headlong into a tremendous and cataclysmic war between freedom and control, between fear and love. Enjoy people and keep the vibration high. 1. Above all else, be direct and be honest. Be the one that says what has for too long gone unsaid. 2. Love insanely. Let it all out into the open. You don't have time to hold back any longer. 3. Make yourself strong, physically strong, emotionally strong, spiritually strong. 4. Practice radical detachment and letting go. We need to create space for the new paradigm to emerge. 5. Learn to enjoy being patient and allowing things to unfold naturally without forcing anything. 6. Express yourself like you never have before. Be more real. Be more raw. Be more open. Be more badass. Be more you. 7. Let death be all the motivation you need to do anything you want to do. The clock is ticking 
faster than ever. 8. Don't be surprised when things work out for better than you could have imagined. 9. Give away as much freedom to others as you can stand. Then give them more. Let them have their differing opinions or whatever and just keep on loving them with everything you've got. 10. Do not allow your mind to take the wheel. Steer with your heart. 11. Make personal evolution your prime directive and watch how quickly your life changes for the better. 12. Be the person in the room that laughs and smiles the most, showing others how to brush off the madness of the world. 13. Conserve your energy until it is time to move, then do so with maximum potency. 14. Stay close to the things you can control and distance yourself from those things which you cannot. 15. Teach everything you've learned so far. Participate fully in the growth of others. 16. Create relationships. Fix relationships. Find common ground. Build bridges and be there for others. 17. Learn to fiercely observe the world and the people around you. 18. Rewrite the rules as needed for maximum ease and minimum stress. 19. Let yourself cry, scream, or whatever as needed in order to make sure you are a conduit for negative emotions, not a reservoir. 20. Practice, practice, practice. Engage in your daily practice every single day. Cultivate your inner peace and strength through the continuity of your intentions. 21. Maintain the highest possible vibration you can and make a point of being infectious to others. Thanks for watching.